welcome back so we have now completed uh, that is uh, sun house and then uh, ship and then finally the car now the next fifth target we are going to work on is the forest so again come back to unity now coming to unity now just like last time what we are going to do is come to this ar camera go to game object euphoria engine choose image target again name this image target now as forest image target so f i n t r capital forest image target then image ta target behavior in type select from database we shall select the database ar book database and here image target we are going to now use is forest and right now this is not visible because this is placed right over the sun image so now what we shall do is let us just drag it to the right here uh, let us move it by around 10 units okay so we will move it by around 10 units so we can see the forest image over here so this is the forest image now here we want to add a forest scene as soon as this image is projected on your mobile phone we want a forest scene and again for the forest scene come to asset store and in asset store search here low poly forest okay so let us type uh, low poly forest and then click search so when you click search you have various uh, uh, forest uh, uh, available and here you have one low forest poly environment okay let us select this now when we select this uh, this is the thing we are going to use you can see the size is okay 736 kilobytes so then click download and this will download and again you can import it here so what we are now going to do is instead of importing it i have already uh, we have already uploaded this content into your resources so let us import it from the resources now to load it from the resources come to assets here uh, here import package custom package and here in your asset folder uh, from the asset you have this forest unity package select this package and click open so wait till the entire package select all and import the entire package into your uh, unity project so okay now here uh, once it is imported come back to your asset folder here and in asset folder you have a new folder created free dimension forge okay and when you double click this free dimension for forge you have low poly environment pack double click to open it in it you have this art folder double click it and in it you have forest environment pack double click to open it and here if you see here if you come to prefabs you have all individual prefabs like this you have house you have bridge you have all accessories of the forest you have to assemble it or otherwise if you come back to forest uh, environment pack you have one scenes here double click scenes and in scene you have one demo scene here double click this demo scene so when you double click this demo scene this demo scene will open here so this is actually a six side cube with every side with a forest layout so what we shall do is we will take this layout as the forest layout so for this what we shall now do is now uh, in this now again come back in forest environment pack art uh, here in forest environment pack you have prefabs open this prefabs folder that is in assets free dimension force low uh, poly environment pack art forest environment pack prefab in this folder now here in this scene you have environment forest if i open it you have a cube and you have one side one you select any one side and drag it into this prefab and let us name this uh, i am going to rename this as forest let us give it the name as forest so after naming this as forest now let us come back to our scene now we had opened this scene demo scene forest 
Now come to assets and in asset scenes, open your AR book scene. If it asks you to save this demo scene for us, click don't save here. So that we don't require. Now open this AR book scene and in this AR book scene now, uh, now come back here to assets, free dimension, four, low poly pack, alt, and in forest environment pack prefab and here we have the forest so select this forest prefab open this ar camera and in this you have the image target uh, what we forgot was uh, okay what happened was uh, last time when we opened the other one this was not saved so that's why this image target has not been uh, that renaming has not saved so again, let us rename it as forest image target. So remember, when you open another scene, before you open it, you have to save the scene and then open another scene. Okay. So now this forest image target is selected. So it is here and let us drag this forest prefab and put it over this forest image target. Uh, so this inside this. So this is the child of forest image target and now uh, let us select this forest and in position set the position to 0 0 and 0 so this is placed uh, if you just pan it okay so this is exactly placed over our drawing if required let us scale it down a little so let us scale it to around uh, 0.5 uh, 0.5 y and 0.5 z Okay, so we have scaled it down so we can see the forest area or otherwise select it and leave it at little larger size 0.8x, 0.8y and 0.8z. Okay, so we have this forest area. We have added this forest. So after adding the forest, now go to file, choose save. So this time what we did was we choose a scene, a completely assembled scene. We convert that scene into prefab and we added that entire scene to this actual model that is uh, image target. So after this, now let us test this. Okay, now let us test this. Now click the play button here. So once we click the play button here, uh, automatically the camera will be activated and once the camera is activated bring it over this image see as soon as we bring the image you can see the target image forest added see the forest image has been added so you can rotate and see the forest okay so this is done so we have successfully added forest so this is the forest so we can just move it and see it okay fine so now this fifth target image we have successfully added stop the playback here go to file and choose save 